Well, I love snacks, and it's time for another Keto Snack Box. With your boy, Anthony. <laughs> Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. So it's time for another Keto Snack Box. Yes, I'm hungry, so I want food. You want food? I'm ready for something so, to eat. So if you're new to our channel, I'm Joe, this is our son Anthony. Rachel doesn't participate in this video because this is the video where we go through everything that's in the Keto Snack Box and Anthony, who is a non-keto person, tries it and gives you the perspective of, is it good enough for somebody who doesn't eat keto? Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. Now, if you don't know what a keto snack box is, this is a monthly subscription box. Uh, they send you eight to 12 different snacks. Uh, I like it because you get to try different things, especially if you wanna try something you've never tried before, you don't have to buy like a box of 12. There is a link down below in the description if you're interested, and there's also a coupon code so that you can save some money off of your first box. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so the way we do this is we go through each product. We're gonna go over the ingredients, the nutrition. I'm gonna let you know how much it costs based on what I found online, and then we're going to try it, and Anthony gives you his brutally honest opinion. It's always honest. <laughs> Let me pull up the price list over here. We're gonna put it right there so we oh, can see Oh, wow, it. you moved the TV. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Okay, I have our first thing. Okay, what do you got? Vegan <laughs> creamer. I don't see the flavor. Ingredients, cashew milk, which has water and cashews, coconut cream, which is coconut water, MCT oil, it has medium chain triglycerides, it contains 1.5% or less of acacia gum, potassium phosphate, calcium carbonate, sunflower lecithin, sodium citrate, terra gum, and selen gum. Glan. Glan gum. I mispronounce everything. Um, the serving is a quarter of a cup. It's got 40 calories, four grams of fat, three grams of saturated fat, one gram of carb, one gram of fiber, no sugar. So it makes it no net carbs. No net carbs. Okay, so we recently did a video on the new um, plant-based protein creamer from Kai2. So this is really gonna have to be better than that. It's unsweetened, so I don't have a lot of hopes for this. We're just gonna drink it right out of the container, right? We're not gonna go make a cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not a coffee if it, Hey, a good creamer, you should be able to drink it, right? That's what I used to do when I was a kid. It does have a big serving size, it's a quarter of a cup. Of course, now we're stuck drinking this and nobody else is gonna drink from it because we're drinking out of the container. <laughs> no. Oh, I agree with you. No. No, no. No, 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 no. No. Okay. No. It's, it's just got no It's got flavor. no taste. It's like, it, it tastes like watered down almond That's milk. That's nasty. It's watered down almond milk with a little bit of MCTs in it. Um, That's it's nasty. definitely not as good as the Kai 2. That's nasty. The price on this is $10.79 for two of them. Don't buy it. We'll give it to Rachel. We'll give it to her. She can try it. She still probably won't drink it. Give me a product in there. So I've got <laughs> some maple candied pecans. Okay, we actually had this in our Keto Crate last month. This is the Keto Farm's new flavor, Mapled Candied Pecans. And uh, we love Keto Farms, or Keto Farms. The ingredients in this are pecans, natural sweetener, which is erythritol monk fruit, salt, natural, fla natural maple flavor, and other natural flavors, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and citric acid. Serving size is the entire pouch. Uh, 190 calories, 20 grams of fat, three grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, 
eight grams of sugar alcohol, making it, what is that, one net carb? Yeah. One net carb. Um, we did try them last month. They are really good. They are very high on the total carbs compared to all of the other keto farm things because they're adding erythritol into it. I feel like you're gonna like these. Are we gonna eat these all up or are we gonna share them with Rachel? Cause like, Depends. she kind of likes these. I'll just take a couple, that's good. Oh wow. They're good. They're kind of, they're not what I was expecting when I first tried them, but they're actually, I like them more than last time. Last time they were like, okay. These taste like the things you get from theme parks. Like yeah. Or the mall, whatever it is. That's what I was expecting was those ones you would get at the mall, like, you know, I think they're pretty like that. But I was looking for a more granular sugar texture on the outside. But that's pretty good. So these are $15 for six bags. I'll leave links down below. You can get them on Amazon. That's pretty dang good. I'm not gonna lie. Keto meal chocolate flavor. Okay, so now they did give us two of these, so we already made one ahead of time so that we can try it. And this Giving is it the company that uh, I think Tim Tebow has a lot to do with. If you go to their website, like he's plastered all over their website. All right. Ingredients are coconut oil creamer, which it has coconut oil, soluble corn fiber, sodium caseinate, sunflower lecithin, and silicon dioxide. Whey protein concentrate, which has whey protein, sunflower, lecithin, Dutch processed cocoa, erythritol, MCT oil creamer, which has medium train, triglycerides, non-fat dairy milk, disodium phosphate, silicon dioxide, natural flavors, sea salt, magnesium oxide, calcium carbonate, stevia, oh my goodness, stevia. There, there are it's a stevia. lot of ingredients in this. Cellulose gum, xanthan gum, carrageen, asobic acid, D-alpha- <laughs> Taco for all. There are a lot of things in this. Acetate, copper gluconate, ni. You finish this. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a bunch of gibberish. So we'll go back to. We have carrageenan, ascorbic acid, copper glu uh, gluconate, uh, niacinamide, zinc oxide, uh, lactase, calcium, uh, biotin, thiamine, uh, thiamine mononitrate. Uh, riboflavin and folic acid. Was that about 40 ingredients? It, well, a lot of it's vitamins. Okay. Okay, wow. so a lot of it is vitamins. So the, a package is 250 calories, 19 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 11 total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, 3.5 sugar alcohols. That makes it, what, seven, uh, what is that, about three net carbs? Three and a mm -hmm. half net, three net carbs? Three and a half net carbs. Three and a half net carbs, plus what you're going to mix it with. Yeah. So it does say on the back here, Keto Logic Keto Meal is anchored with coconut oil, medium chain, triglyc chain triglycerides, which the body converts to ketones. Ketones are a superior fuel that are efficiently used by muscles and the brain, generating more energy, ATP pot per ox unit of oxygen consumed than carbs or protein. Okay, so... We wanted to give it its best shot. It didn't really say what to mix it with. So it just says mix it with eight to 12 ounces. It doesn't say what, adjust for taste. So we mixed it with 10 ounces of almond milk, vanilla almond milk. So I feel like that's the best shot it's gonna get. And we've had a cold. That's supposed to like hot chocolate. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. That's got a weird taste. I'm gonna say it's not bad. Of, of the different keto meal replacements that I have tried, with the exception of keto chow, it's actually one of the best ones. Have a couple of issues. I don't like all of the ingredients. They have a lot of fillers in here. Also, the biggest thing that I like about keto chow is the fact that I can add my own fat and therefore determine the calories. Like 250 calories is not a meal replacement. Add in eight ounces of almond milk, you're at less than 300 calories. That's not a meal replacement. Fitting how we use the keto chow cup. <laughs> 
It doesn't have all your electrolytes. It's got 170 milligrams of potassium, so that's kind of low on potassium. So it's not bad. I still would prefer Not as bad as the other one. It's definitely not as bad as the other one. It's not, I mean, hey. I think maybe because we use the vanilla milk, it may have hurt it a little bit. It's a little chalky, but not as bad as a lot of the other yeah. ones. But I would say if you needed something to just like, that you could just have as an emergency where you have no access to fats, like you need something you could just mix with water, Yeah. it wouldn't be bad. Oh, price on that. Oh, we forgot. Price on that is $50 for a tub of 20 oh, okay. servings. Grapow. Grapow, you're saying it just like mom. <laughs> Peanut butter cup. Okay, so this is obviously their sample package. We've done Grapow before. Uh, we have a review video. I'll put that over Anthony's head. We've right. always liked it in the past. Well, I've never had it. It's my turn to read no, it. No, I gave it to you. Okay. This is my turn. <laughs> Because that one had 30 ingredients I couldn't read. Ingredients, peanuts, coconut, extra virgin coconut oil, non-GMO erythritol, walnuts, sunflower seeds, almonds, free-range eggs, cacao, pecans, coconut, Himalayan pink salt, grass-fed boiling collagen, stevia extract, aluminum-free baking soda, um, organic, and contains eggs, peanut, almond flour, walnut, pe pecans, and coconuts. So it's got really good yeah. ingredients. Um... Two servings in this package. A serving size is one ounce. Their uh, serving is 160 calories, 15 grams of fat, eight grams of total carbs, two grams of fiber, and less than one gram of total sugar. So that makes it six total carbs? Or six net carbs, my bad? No, oh no, okay. three grams of an egg. Oh, we're at the tall, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say, I wait, didn't see it, it. It, that'd be a lot. So it's a eight minus three minus two. So three net carbs, yeah. okay. Two servings per pouch? That's one serving. Benny. 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 Give it. I Benny. like peanut butter. You gotta put one serving on this. Just, I'm gonna eat the whole bag anyway. So just tell me I'm eating 320 calories. Don't use your teeth. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had peanut butter cup flavor. I have a whole like drawer of this. Oh, I was assuming this was gonna be like peanut butter. Peanut butter cup. No. It's, it's almost, it's, here's the thing is we're in Florida, so it melts. If you have it in a place where like it's cold, what happens is the coconut oil makes it clumps, but down here it just becomes almost like a granola kind of thing. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. If that is really good, like on yogurt, on ice cream. It's a great ice cream topper. Might be using that tonight for our ice cream. Uh, $10 for a 10 ounce bag. For a 10 ounce bag, so it's a big bag. Obviously not this. It's a it's a decent size serve bag for 10 bucks. Coivos. 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 This is their new flavor. Um, we've tried these a couple times. I like them. They're supposed to be sending us some. They said they wanted us to do a review of them. So these are egg white chips. So kind of like potato chips made with egg whites. So the ingredients in this are egg whites, ghee, milk protein isolate, inulin, which is chicory root fiber, seasoning blend, which has maltodextrin, salt, white distilled vinegar, garlic powder, onion powder, sugar, baker's yeast extract, spices, citric acid, lactic acid, natural flavors, coconut oil, avocado oil. Contains less than 2% of tapioca flour, chia seeds, psyllium husk, uh, sunflower less than flax seeds. Okay, uh, ingredients aren't bad. Unfortunately, the seasoning mix, which is dill pickle, has sugar and maltodextrin in it. Um, 140 calories per serving, which is the entire bag. 10 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, eight total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, making it four net carbs per bag. Having trouble there? We are having trouble here. You know what? Don't use your teeth. I have found that's my new way to rip open a bag. Cause you know how they always rip all the way down anyway? So rip it this way and now you have like a little pouch. Huh. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's got a good flavor. It does. Price on these. $30 for 12 bags, so $250 a bag. Monk Pack Keto Granola Bar. <laughs> As I covered. 
peanut butter flavor. All right, so the ingredients is peanuts, almonds, allulose, peanut butter, sunflower seeds, coconut, soluble tapioca fiber, flax seeds, vegetable glycerin, sea salt, natural flavor, mixed tocopherols. 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 Vitamin E for refreshness, sunflower, lecithin, monk fruit extract, and the nutrition. So a serving is one bar, 140 calories, one, 12 grams of fat, 12 grams of total carbs, four grams of the di uh, fiber, and one gram of sugar. Then uh, they have a half a gram of glycerin, which is actually a sugar alcohol. So that makes it... Two net carbs. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That doesn't, doesn't make, sense. make sense. What's missing? Is there allulose in this? Let's. Did you did you read allulose in the ingredients? I don't see it. Allulose. Okay. okay. Well, it's not on the nutrition. Not level. on the nutrition though. Okay. So do they have? Oh, any? there it okay, is. Here it is. It's on a different. So it point. has five point five grams of allulose. So they're saying two net carbs per bar. Okay. Price on these, by the way, $25 for 12 bars. It smells very, like, nutty, like mm. almondy. That's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not very sweet at all. No, it's not. Kind of just tastes like a meat. It's nuts. like a chewy granola bar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not bad. It's just not sweet at mm -hmm. all. I was expecting it to be sweet with all that allulose, but I'd probably do without the allulose. All right. Oh, it's a dang bar. Dang. Okay, we've had lots of these before. We've done reviews on them. So that's the dang bar. This is the lemon matcha flavor. Not a fan of coconut. Mm. Almonds. Chicory root fiber, cocoa butter, pea protein, pea protein crisps, which is pea protein and rice flour, sunflower seeds, coconut, chia seeds, natural flavors, lemon oil, sunflower lecithin, matcha green tea, citric acid, sea salt, stevia, mixed tofurols, which is vitamin E. And uh, servings on this are one bar, 210 calories, 15 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 11 total carbohydrates, 6 grams of dietary fiber, making it 5 net carbs per bar. Right? Mm hmm So we've had these before. Again, another one that's kind of like a granola bar. Oh, I was just going to give you a piece here. Kind of like a granola bar, not overly sweet. No. There's like no lemon in here. That's all I taste is lemon. Just like somebody was thinking really hard of a lemon. <laughs> like they were thinking about it, they forgot to put it in. Like I said, brutally honest. Oh, it's really kind of tasteless. It's very much like the other one. Not overly sweet. I feel like this one's got more flavor than the other one. I don't think so. Okay, monk fruit bar, uh, the dang bars, $34 for 12 bars. So it's about $2.80 a bar. Alright. A lot of bars this month. Yeah. Stoke bar. Sea salt caramel flavor. So the ingredients are almonds, erythritol, inulin, natural flavors, sea salt, guar gum, sunflower lecithin, and stevia extract. So serving is one bar. Um, 250 calories, 22 grams of fat. And then it's got 17 total carbs, six grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and seven grams of sugar alcohol, and nine grams of protein. So make, that makes it four, four net carbs. That's a lot, that, that's a big drop. It's almonds. Oh, okay. The almonds, almonds have a lot of fiber on them. They are a little crumbly. They're just falling apart. They are a little crumbly. On a crumbly. scale of one to Nature Valley granola bar, how much is your life falling apart right now? <laughs> Look at this. They are very... Look at this. They, they are, just crumbled. They are very crumbly. No. You don't like them. I'm su I'm surprised. No, I'm good. I don't want to have to sweep after my snack. That was an immediate turnoff for me. I will say this. 
I'm not impressed with this flavor. I'm not either. I've had a lot of Maybe flavor. the flavor was just bad. They have a peanut butter and jelly one that's spot on. They have a birthday cake one, awesome. I'm not impressed with this flavor. You made a mess. And it opened, and I don't want to have to sweep after my food. <laughs> Price on the Stoka bar is $24 for eight bars. So that's $3 a bar. Next up. Don't slam our food. Fat snacks. We actually like these. The first time we tried them, we did not like them at all. Then they reformulated them. We tried them again, and then we liked them. You can also buy these in Whole Foods now. I see them all the time in Whole Foods. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of clean up my work area. Okay, ingredients in this are almond flour, butter, chocolate chips, which is unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia, and sunflower lecithin. Then we have eggs, coconut flour, sustainable organic palm fruit oil, non-GMO erythritol, natural flavors, natural vanilla flavor, non-GMO xylitol, vegetable glycerin, xanthan gum, sunflower lecithin, aluminum-free baking powder, aluminum-free baking soda, salt, and stevia. So they have really, really good ingredients. Here is my problem with this. What? Servings per container. Two. No, there's not. It's a cookie. It's two. Are you kidding me? It's, Who's eating? There's no. two cookies in here. No. Oh, oh there's well. two. But nobody's opening up no. a package and only eating one cookie. I say the same thing about the Perfect Keto. I'm going to eat both cookies. I am. Now, maybe you're lucky enough and you have me and you have Rachel sitting next to you. She's going to eat the other one. But if Rachel's not next to me, I'm eating both cookies. So it's 100 calories per cookie. Eight grams of fat, two grams of protein, six total carbohydrates. So it's low in total carbs. I like that. <clears throat> Two grams of dietary fiber, two grams of sugar alcohol, making it two net carbs per cookie. They are very much soft. They are very soft. They're like soft batch cookies. Hold on, that, but that there's a difference between soft batch and like wiggly. I feel like there's too much erythritol. To me, they're not sweet enough. There's too much erythritol for me. Too much. Too much for me. Okay. Okay. Price on these <clears throat> on Amazon: thirty-five dollars for twenty-four cookies, so twelve packs. Thirty-five dollars. It's two dollars and ninety cents a pack. If you go to their website, which we actually have a link for down below, it's twenty-seven dollars for 24 cookies. There's so save a little bit of money buying it directly from their website. I don't know how much the shipping is. All right. Last is that the one. last thing? Yes, this is the last one. Salt and pepper pork stick. Okay, yeah, but you're I missing. Some. I can't, I'm, uh, what? You're missing the most important part. Do you know what their website address is? No. Dropanfbomb.com. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually have a company of comedy. Class. <laughs> we have a coupon code. We'll leave it down below. All right. I'm going to just open this. I just kind of want to eat it. The ingredients are pork, water, sea salt, cracked black pepper. Crack. <laughs> cracked. I said cracked. It sounded like another word. No, I said cracked. <laughs> cracked black pepper, encapsulated citrate acid, cultured celery powder, which is celery powder and sea salt, cherry powder, natural, liquid smoke, coriander, Ground clove in colored in colored beef collagen casings. Um, serving size is one stick, 120 calories for this stick, 10 grams of fat, one total carbs, no fiber, no sugars. Six grams. What flavor of is this? Salt and pepper pork stick. They have a jalapeno flavor that is awesome. Honestly, f bombs are one of my favorite snack sticks, meat sticks, because they're very high in fat. I think you're gonna like this. You having trouble there? Why do I gotta wrestle my package to open it? Just give me a tear. Why do I do this? <laughs> Gosh, ain't do I look like I'm in the WWE? Oh, you having trouble there? I didn't get to it yet. It's it's not my fault. I don't bite my nails. I do look at my nails. This is my item. I get to try it first. Okay. You can have this, and I can have the other part of the bar. I'll be honest, that's not good. You don't like it? No. 
There you go. You can have my half. <laughs> Mm -mm. I actually like their meat sticks. I think they have a good flavor, a good consistency. Like, no. Some of the, that's not as it is advertised. Like, I taste cherry. I taste it. Okay. Like, there's too many other seasonings in there. Okay. You have to try the other flavors. Because I, I do have the pepper, the, the jalapeno one. I think you'll like that one. Okay. So the price on these are... Where are they? Uh, $25 for 12 sticks. Well, that is gonna be our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section if you've tried any of these products and which ones you like. Now, if you like to see more videos like this, check out our playlist that is right over there. And also make sure you look at our most recent video, which you can see by clicking right over here. And if you wanna see more of me in later videos, you can subscribe right down here to see my honest opinion about other things that I'm gonna try. <laughs> Until next time, bye. bye.